Hey everybody, what's up? What's going on? And welcome back. Can't drop here again today. So today I am bringing you guys a build video for the Marksman Hunter for PVE dungeon purposes. And you guys will be able to tell whether or not for yourselves after this video, if it's something you want to try or if it's even good for you guys. So if it is good for you guys, if there's anything that you guys changed about it or anything that you don't like about it, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you guys think. I love to collaborate on builds. So to get this rolling, I am going to be talking about a single target AOE PVE dungeon build, not a raid build, not anything else, just something that you would be using that's very good for, in my opinion, for dungeons, dungeon runs in particular, because you have AOE packs and you need single target pressure. So I'm going to take you guys through a quick run through of the talents. Let's get started. Master Marksman. Passive bleed damage for 15% of the critical hit that you did to that target. So 4k crit, you get 15% of that damage dealt to a bleed on the target for 6 seconds. So it's good in AoE and it is good in single target. It's just extra bonus damage without any use of a GCD. Next up, Explosive Shot. Why? It can hit six targets, so it caps it. It's over the maximum cap at five targets. Well, you, you can say, well, can't. Why? You got barrage that can hit up to eight targets. Well, here's why. Explosive is instant cast, costs twenty focus, works really well with GCDs. So you can go from explosive shot to an aim shot, explosive shot to a rapid fire. Um. You know, explosive shot into a true shot into a rapid fire or explosive shot into a true shot starting off into an aim shot or anything of that sort. It works really well with the GCDs. Um, it's good for single target and it's good for AOE. AOE because it hits six targets and it does good damage. It's like letting off another aim shot to multiple targets in the area around that target you hit the explosive shot on. Next up. We're going to go natural mending. Why? Just because it's helpful utility and there's nothing else in that row that's really going to keep you alive longer from taking damage from a mob or even just some random boss mechanic. Number four, streamline. This is a rapid fire PVE build. So a lot of your damage is going to come from rapid fire and aim shot like always. But your rapid fire should be more equivalent to your aim shot than if you had gone with chimera shot or something. So basically because streamline reduces the cooldown or streamline increases the damage by 15% of your rapid fire. Sorry. It has a 20 second cooldown. It's good damage. It's good solid damage. Always is. It regenerates your focus. One focus per shot at level 60. It's what rank two rapid fire is basically going to be and it streamline also makes your next aim shot cast 30 percent faster which means multi-shot explosive shot into an aim shot rapid fire multi-shot off of that aim shot rapid fire so you get all that aoe damage and then multi-shot again into a 30% faster aim shot. That's just really consistent, solid, solid, solid AOE damage. And that could even be used as single target damage because you're going to use rapid fire on a single target as well. So next up is going to be born to be wild. It's just bonus utility for your cheetah and your turtle cooldown. So it's just it's really good for basically raids mainly, for boss fights. It's also really good for dungeons for the boss fights. And if you're going to get swarmed by like this big mob of, of enemies or NPCs in a dungeon, um, it's just really good for helpful utility cooldowns. Next up is going to be lethal shots. We're going to be pairing that with streamline. That's why this is a rapid fire PVE build for AOE and single target in dungeons. Um, you're going to be spamming multi-shot for trick shot effects anyway on AOE targets. And you're going to be spamming arcane shot on a single tar on a single boss target 
anyway, if you know, if you have focus to spend or your aim shots on cooldown and your rapid fires on cooldown, you're going to hit an aim shot. That chance will give you a 30. This talent will give you a 30% chance to reduce the cooldown of your rapid fire by five seconds. So meaning more rapid fires means more focus regen, more good solid damage. Cause like I said before, Anybody that has played a hunter, anybody that has seen a marksman hunter use rapid fire is usually trying to stay away from the rapid fire. It shit hurts. And it's just it's just really good overall due to the fact that even if you don't hit arcane shot that much on a single boss fight, if even if you hit it once or twice, you might get that nice RNG proc to reduce your cooldown on that rapid fire. It just gives you so much more damage, so much more pressure you can do in a PvE circumstance. And then last but not least is going to be your lock and load. Lock and load is very RNG based, yes. But, but, now here's the big but. It is good in PvE, AoE situations, and single target situations. Why AoE? You're multi-shotting anyway for the trick shots effect. While you're multi-shotting, while you're using arcane shot, while you're rapid firing, while you're using kill shot, while you're using binding shot, steady shot, concussive shot, any of your attacks, you're auto attacking. So every auto attack you have, you have an 8% chance to get a instant cast, no focus cost aim shot. And that is extremely important because as you set up your, like, so you go in for a setup, you'll most likely start with a multi shot because you want those trick shots. So you're going to start off with a multi shot, most likely a misdirection on a big pack into your tank for threat redirection. And then you're going to multi shot into an aim shot. And then because you have the streamline effect, you're going to rapid fire right after with a multi shot in between. You're going to multi shot, aim shot, multi shot, rapid fire, multi shot into a 30% faster aim shot. And then like you see here, I'm going to, I'm getting procs for my aim shot to be instant cast. So as that's happening, I'm able to multi shot into an instant cast aim shot that takes no focus. So I'm able to use a rapid fire or something else to rebuild some focus or even into an arcane shot for a little extra damage. Maybe even another multi shot so that way I can stack a couple of steady shots so I get some focus and then into an aim shot. It's just really, it has the potential to be really good in single target and the really big potential to be very good in AoE due to the fact that you're trick shotting anyway. So it's, it's just one of those things where you have to, like, you have to count your lucky stars when it procs and when it doesn't proc, you're kind of like, well, SOL for the most part. But at the same time, that 3% bonus percentage that we got from BFA from 5% to the 8% that's in pre-patch now, it procs so much more compared to the BFA version of it. Don't know why that 3% is so huge. I have no idea. But that 3% is enormous to this. So this build is just my opinion, my take, my information that I've gathered from playing the, the build that I've been dealing with and that I'm sharing with you guys today. Um, please, if you have any changes, if you... If you have something that works for you and you really like it, please share it with me. I would love to try it and test it out. And if it's really good, like you guys think it is, or especially if you're sending it to me, if you think it's good, I will put it up on the channel. I will, I'll say viewer sent this to me. If you want, I can post your tag up there with it. And I'll say, this is what somebody sent me. This is how it works. This is what I think of it. Now I can give you my reaction on it. Just like I appreciate your guys' reactions on these. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next one.
can't drop out.